just here on my layover in Hawaii on my way to Japan and I decided to pick up this book and I gotta say it's pretty remarkable because some of the things that I'm looking to do while on this trip and it talks about let's see here it talks about a 15 year old kid with enormous changes that he faces in his life and wonders about the things that he used to take for granted including his place in the world friendship and loyalty and the role of luck and choice in his future and meanwhile copper's uncle writes to him a journal sharing knowledge and offering his advice on life's biggest questions as copper begins to consider what matters most and i just really like the way that was written because it's exactly what i think about think about what matters most in this life and as it says here a heartwarming japanese classic how do you live and a little comments here it says if it means anything at all to live in this world it's that you must live your life like a true human being and feel just what you feel this deeply thoughtful japanese classic is a gentle tale of self-discovery and reflection yoshino's timeless lesson will resonate with sensitive readers young and old anyway i thought it was really like cute beautifully illustrated and i'm going to be reading it all right guys okay if you keep keeping you posted all right till next time almost there there's japan Well guys, I finally arrived to my room. You can see how kind of small it is, but obviously very nice. And you can see here, just a little bathroom. But they do have a hot spring here, so I'm gonna go straight the there. The food menu is unbelievable. I wish I could have shown you guys everything they have, but I just grabbed a lot of different types of salad. I got a little white fish, little salmon, little clams. I'm gonna go get more. I got seaweed salad, but I just got a lot of veggies to start out. I'll tell you what, after the airplane food, this stuff's so good. And I also soaked in the hot spring and got all cleaned up before I came out to eat. And the quality, the taste is just amazing. I gotta tell you, it's just plain ridiculous what they have here. They got obviously ice cream and lattes, you know, and that basic stuff. But then they have red chicken curry, minestrone soup, miso soup. I mean, this is just the beginning, too. They have all sorts of stuff. They'll make whatever pretty much you want there. Obviously, they have a bunch of different types of desserts. I was grabbing a lot of stuff from over here. Look at this, all of these different types of salads and vegetables. And of course, if you like bread, they got all sorts of bread. And then they have, of course, a lot of fried fish, pork and Japanese radish, bamboo oyster sauce. Beef, roasted lamb, I mean, on and on it goes. Salmon, whitefish, shrimp, I mean, just endless choices. Duck. All right, guys, here's another part of this meal. Scallop soup, very buttery, extremely delicious. And I am definitely breaking a bunch of my rules today, but hey, you have to do that sometimes. And the food is just, I, I gotta tell you, it literally almost brings me to tears. It's just so good. And I'm always so strict with myself. So I'm enjoying myself today, hey guys. I just continue to keep helping myself with more stuff. I really like their seaweed salad. This is like pumpkin and then udon with clams and broccoli. And they're just, Oh, I, just, I can't even begin to describe to you guys what this is like for me, but I'm enjoying it. This is an interesting thing they have in the bedroom too in this hotel is that it's filtering the air and they have really great uh, water filters for the showers too. It's just really unbelievable. I'm, I'm really By impressed. Way, this is the view from my room. Look at that fire. That's weird. I wonder what that is. And then there's the 
beautiful bridge. I mean, look how clean this city is compared to what's going on in the U.S. <laughs> but I mean, I don't know. I love the way they do things here. I feel like, I almost feel like I'm kind of home. But look at this fire. I don't know what this is. I'm going to try to zoom in so you guys can see it. That is odd. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go to the hot springs. All right, guys, I'm walking towards the hot spring right now in the hotel. And people just go crazy for these vending machines. And so I'll just show you what you can get. More than anything, look at this. You can literally buy alcohol. <laughs> look at all this beer and all these beverages here. But me personally, I'm a water guy. I'm going to go get some hot springs. Okay, guys, so this is the entrance to the hot springs. You obviously can't take cameras in, but I noticed this. This is really kind of odd. These are weights, and I'm thinking, what the heck are these weights here for? Turns out that the lockers where you put your slippers in, certain slippers don't have enough weight, so the, the locker won't detect it and won't let you basically lock it. It's just very odd and kind of silly. And I'm going to just show you guys really weird stuff like that throughout Japan because they do things so differently, and to be quite honest, I just love a lot of it because a lot of it makes sense, but you just don't think about it until later all right i'm gonna go in the springs right, I'll see guys, you guys. so getting another step closer to getting to the onsen which means hot spring you can see right there with a view because you can literally be outside which is unbelievable and of course they keep everything super clean and tidy and it's super quiet this morning which is really nice even the floor has these like special patterns so when you're walking barefoot it feels really nice under your feet. And you can see there, they have the women's and the men's entrance right there. And that's as far as we can go. In fact, right here, you'll see where it says, no cameras. Okay guys, I'm gonna go right, to the hot springs. I thought I'd show you guys. This is the view of the window. And the reason I chose this place is because literally the airport's right there. So I was able to come right straight into this place, get wonderful food, hot springs, all that kind of stuff. And it's just super clean, tidy, really nice. All right, guys, before I go in, I just realized they have pictures of where I was in. So these are the hot springs outside, see? And these little numbers here are the temperatures for each spring because some are hotter than others. And so this gives you an idea. You know, we're talking about soaking in water that is, we're not talking tap water with chlorine and chemicals. We're talking about like natural hot springs from the from deep within the earth. It's so beautiful. I wish you guys could, you know, see something better than these pictures, but this is about as much as I can yeah, show another you. Another thing they offer here on the way on into the sauna, they have a room with lava stone and you literally lay on these stones and it makes you sweat different. And then this one too, black germanium, you guys can actually look up how these affect the human body for detox. And then you got the cool down room. But this is, you know, Super cool. All right, guys, so the breakfast here is insane. Again, you can pretty much get just about anything you want, but look what they got. They got smoothie already made for me. Eating a lot more than this, but I'm definitely having, this is my second smoothie. I'm getting a lot of vegetables. A lot of this is pickled also. And then I am having eggs today. They have a nice sesame sauce. I just poured it on there. I like that sauce. And I put some of the, like these little things of onions on it. And I'll get started with this. Making a cup of coffee. Big time cheat days today. They have amazing French toast. This is so crazy, look at this. So they have a cleaner here. So you can actually clean it before use. They still have a bidet and check this out. Any idea what this is? It's literally a platform that comes down. So if you change clothes or something, your feet never have to touch the ground for cleanliness. I'll tell you, next level. Absolutely love this. Holy cow. cow, guys, look at this. The real Kobe beef. Look how marbly white that is. And I have had it before, and it's unbelievably delicious. Wow. All right, guys. Again, this is something I just love about Japan. They're just so ridiculously clean. A lot of people don't know this about me, but I'm basically, I'm a germaphobe. And I like things really, really clean. And look at this. This actually is in the room sterilizing deodorant it's for your clothes so you can kind of deodorize your clothes and then of course i already kind of showed you some of this but like just showing you like in the bathroom notice there's a step here because it makes a really nice seal in the room and everything in here is waterproof in fact it tells you specifically that if you're going to take a bath and notice this tub is deeper than the average tub it may not be as big 
but it's definitely deeper. I notice a lot of tubs in the US are really shallow and they're never like deep enough to my liking, but everything's very waterproof and it tells you to close, well, it's right here. Ensure that the bathroom door is closed when you're taking a bath. There's just so much moisture in here and everything is designed specifically. And that's the way they do bathrooms in Japan. And then on top of it, where do you flush your toilet? It's actually a button over here, which is really easy to access. And it shows a little tornado symbol because the way it flushes. Um, I guess I could show you guys, but I'm, I'm not gonna go that far. But just so many little things. And by the way, their soaps and shampoos and all this stuff, they feel really, really nice on the skin. They don't feel like they dry you out. Very moisture-y. It just, so many little things. I really wish I could show you guys the bathhouse because that's the one that was hands down my absolute All right, favorite. guys, another funny and interesting thing about this room is this little panel right here I didn't even notice. If you push this button, see how it's lit up? If you read real closely, this is the did not disturb sign. There is no sign. There is no piece of plastic that you hang on your door. There is literally, I'll just show it to you. There's like these little lights out here, which let them know whether you want to be disturbed or not. And I just thought that was just something kind of quirky and kind of neat, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. Okay guys, I just got out of the hot spring and it makes you very, very sleepy and very relaxed. And this is kind of my last video for this part up till the hotel. So I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna do kind of a little bit of a review on this hotel. The name of the hotel is called the Grand Haneda. And I landed at the Haneda airport. And I gotta say, it is like the best way to land because this is a, it's a pretty brutal trip. The, the trip is very long. The food they serve on the airplanes is not very good at all. Actually, it's horrible. And it's just a really tough trip. And this hotel was so nice because yes, it's really nice. Yes, it's very clean. Um, and obviously people are very nice. Everything's really great. But the thing I liked the most was again, the fact that they have like massages available, hot springs available, steam rooms with all these like herbs and different things that I'm going to talk about in some other videos. Um, they have hot and cold springs, all sorts of different temperatures. They have, let's see what else, saunas, which are incredible. They're very different than, you know, any sauna I've ever seen. They're really huge rooms. They have like this automatic, I wish I could show you guys in video, this automatic system that drops water on the rocks every so often. And they even have a television playing in there so you can like watch the TV while you're getting a sweat. They have hot springs on super high floors of these buildings where you can overlook giant rivers and the city. And, and I mean, this is in the city and I'm not a real city person. So I, all I'll say is I'll give this five stars out of five stars. I mean, it was very, very nice. I mean, so relaxing. And now I'm gonna be getting ready. I'm just resting for a moment. And I'm gonna be getting ready here for taking off to kind of a more smaller town. I'm, I'm going obviously for hot springs. That's why I came here to really get my body even to a higher level than what I've been doing as far as, you know, my health is concerned. And I just love the water and they have the best water here that I've ever seen anywhere. And so, like I said, that's my review of this place. The, the bed was really comfortable. The air temperature control system in the room is really nice. I mean, I literally couldn't think of anything bad about this place. And that was a little confusing. They have so many elevators and floors, but it was really great. So if anybody ever gets a chance or they're traveling through Japan, man, this is a great hotel. And it's it's apparently pretty new. I don't I don't know how long it's been that they put it up, but it's super great quality. So, okay, guys, I'll see you on the next one.